Hello everyone and welcome to our short video presentation on the solution demonstration from MIPS Technologies and SAI Technologies on multi-threaded LTE user equipment baseband solution from both MIPS and SAI. A little bit about the MIPS-SAI collaboration. We have been working together to jointly develop a performance efficient baseband processing solution for LTE user equipment. This solution is powered by the multi-threaded 34K CPU from MIPS and is also enabled by SAI's LTE user equipment baseband stack. The hardware and software demonstration showcases multi-threaded performance scaling in real-world mobile network scenarios. The key benefits that we, the user can derive include CAT124 user equipment performance at efficient power and area as well as improved real-time response. The solution also delivers quicker time to market with off-the-shelf availability, IoT testing for the UE stack, and optimization for the MIPS MT architecture. The solution is also scalable, addressing mobile-to-mobile -mobile applications as well as the burgeoning small cell applications. A little bit of background on why we're doing this. First of all, let's talk about the challenges of scaling baseband SOC performance. In many of today's baseband SOCs, there exists a deep pipeline single-threaded CPU. This pipeline is typically uh, slow and has many idle cycles or bubbles. And the techniques exist to help reduce the bubbles but with area and power penalty. For example, out-of-order dispatch could improve the efficiency but at the expense of size. The other issue is that most of the scheduling is done by a software-based approach, which is not optimal. This becomes a bigger challenge as the amount of data traffic flowing through LTE user equipment increases. And this issue is that you're not able to respond as efficiently with, for the uh, real-time traffic. So the knee-jerk reaction is to try to scale your performance by doing a multi-core design. But you're not really addressing the issue. You still have the inefficiency with a pipeline. And by going to a multi-core, this could come at a very sizable penalty in terms of area and power. So the best thing really to do is to improve your single-core performance and quality of service support before you move on to a multi-core. Which brings us to the solution from MIPS and SAI Technologies. Our solution involves the usage of a MIPS32 multi-threaded core which has multi-threading technology. And as shown in the diagram here, we basically have two virtual processors in the single core footprint. So you have the efficiency of the multi-threading because it's actually using the pipeline in a more efficient manner. And we also have in, inside the core a hardware scheduler which improves the real-time performance and quality of service. And the last point is that you have better response to interrupts because you have a built-in yield qualifier feature which improves response time and overall system performance. Many of today's baseband solutions are using a real-time operating system. With the MIPS32 multi-threaded CPU, you have the ability to run on bare metal RTOS or a combination of both, and we actually have worked with some partners such as Mentor and ExpressLogic to provide MIPS-supported real-time operating systems. And the next piece of the solution is from SAI. It includes a production-ready LTE baseband stack optimized for MIPS multi-threaded CPU. Today I will be presenting the partnership between the MIPS and the SAI technology, the LTE UE. Uh, development. Particularly, SAI has been the global leader in providing the LTE UE E node B, the physical layer and the protocol stacks as uh, to many supply, many customers. The <coughs> SAI uh, 3GPP LTE stack is fully compliant with 9.4 release and the stack has been highly optimized for the MIPS 34K core with multi-threaded application. The LTE UE stack supports the FDD and TDD modes. The UE data rate support for CAT1 to CAT4 fully scalable. And in terms of the radio, the MIMO matrix support, it's a one by one 
MIMO R2 by 2 MIMO matrix full support capability is provided. The SAI LTE UE stack has been deployed by several vendors and it has been IOT'd with major carrier in US. And the SAI LTE UE stack availability is today we have readily available release 9.0 full compliant software stack and 3GPP release 10.0 stack will be available in August 2012. In continuation of the previous discussion, here we are showing the complete physical implementation of the LTE core network. This comprises the packet data gateway, serving gateway, uh, MME and HSS critical components of the network. I will be presenting the <coughs> E node B, the base station, which has been, you know, a caviam based MIPS uh, implementation embedded platform. Now, I will be presenting the UE, which is based on MIPS 34K core, which has been implemented, you know, the multi threaded architecture configuration. Here, in this case, the SAI LTE UE stack has been ported, implemented, and basically and all the applications we will be demonstrating. Right hand side is the basically the uplink whereby we are going to originate the voice call or data and video. So, based uh, on the left hand side which is the basically downlink which is basically whereby we are receiving the voice call or the uh, data or video applications. Now, in this case, the whole connection setup process establishing the connection from an end to end basis. That is what this whole diagram, the illustration of this uh, physical implementation. Now, we are going to demonstrate the complete LTE UE device applications, both the voice, data, and video applications. Now, in this particular scenario, you have both uplink video downlink video, uplink data throughput and downlink data and also the voice demonstration. Now, I am going to establish the call connection for the voice application side. Hello. Hello, Rao Garu, how are you? So, here we have uh, demonstrated the successful completion of the voice call from an end to end basis, voice is bi directional and with respect to the both the video calls, video applications and simultaneously the data downlink and uplink applications are running. Now, we will just give the performance summary of the whole uh, network uh, capabilities. Now, we are going to share with you the performance statistics of the LTE UE device. Both the different radio barrel layers have been here. We have six radio barrel layers have been established. The device is capable to establish up to 10 more 10 radio barrel bearers. Now, in this case the voice demonstration voice is bi-directional single radio bearer. Video takes into two uplink video, downlink video, two radio bearers and the uplink data and uh, downlink data which are two radio bearers. One radio bearer is mainly for the control channel. So, in this case what we are demonstrate the performance of basically the category 1 to category 4 level the performance matrix for the LTE UE device.